Hello, chemistry students. Today, we're going to be performing our mole activity experiment. So in this experiment, we're going to become more familiar with the concept of moles and Avogadro's number. And we're also going to calculate the value of one mole of objects with scientific data. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is use our digital calipers to determine the diameter of a golf ball. The diameter of our golf ball is 42.64 millimeters. The digital calipers are measuring in millimeters. You will now need to use the formula to determine the volume of a sphere to be able to determine the volume of our golf ball. We next need to determine the inner diameter of a 1000 milliliter beaker. I've inserted some popsicle sticks here so you can use the outside of the popsicle sticks to determine the inner diameter of our beaker. We now need to fill our 1000 milliliter beaker at least halfway full with golf balls. This is the number of golf balls that were inside of our 1000 milliliter beaker or cylinder A. This is the total volume occupied by the golf balls in our 1000 milliliter beaker or cylinder A. You should now be able to calculate the diameter ratio and the packing efficiency. We now need to repeat this process with a different 1000 milliliter beaker or cylinder B. So this is the inner diameter of cylinder B, our other 1000 milliliter beaker. We next need to fill our other 1000 milliliter beaker or cylinder B at least halfway full with golf balls. This is the number of golf balls that were in cylinder B, our other 1000 milliliter beaker. This is the total volume occupied by the golf balls in our second 1000 milliliter beaker or cylinder B. You should now be able to calculate the diameter ratio and the packing efficiency. We next need to use our digital calipers to determine the diameter of a marble. The diameter of our marble is 14.49 millimeters. You now need to use the formula for a volume of a sphere to determine the volume of our marble. We now need to determine the inner diameter of the first cylinder, cylinder A, that we will be using for our marbles. Cylinder A is a 250 milliliter beaker, and this is the inner diameter of our 250 milliliter beaker. We are now going to fill our 250 milliliter beaker at least halfway full with marbles. This is the number of marbles that were within our 250 milliliter beaker or cylinder A. This is the total volume occupied by the marbles in our 250 milliliter beaker or cylinder A. You can now calculate the diameter ratio and the packing efficiency for our 250 milliliter beaker. Cylinder B for our marbles is going to be a 50 milliliter beaker. So this is the inner diameter of our 50 milliliter beaker. 
We next need to fill our 50 milliliter beaker or cylinder B at least halfway full with marbles. This is the number of marbles that are in cylinder B or 50 milliliter beaker. This is the total volume occupied by the marbles in our 50 milliliter beaker or cylinder B. You can now calculate the diameter ratio and the packing efficiency for cylinder B, our 50 milliliter beaker. The third object that we will be using today is a BB. So we're gonna use our digital calipers to determine the diameter of the BB. The diameter of our BB is 5.93 millimeters. You now need to use the formula to determine the volume of a sphere to be able to determine the volume of the BB. This is the inner diameter of our 50 milliliter graduated cylinder, cylinder A. We next need to fill our 50 milliliter graduated cylinder at least halfway full with BBs. This is the number of BBs that were within the 50 milliliter graduated cylinder or cylinder A. This is the total volume occupied by the BBs in our 50 milliliter graduated cylinder or cylinder A. You can now calculate the diameter ratio and the packing efficiency for a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. The next cylinder that we will be using for the BBs is a 50 milliliter beaker. This is the inner diameter of our 50 milliliter beaker or cylinder B. We next need to fill our 50 milliliter beaker or cylinder B at least halfway full with BBs. This is the number of BBs that were in our 50 milliliter beaker. This is the total volume occupied by the BBs in our 50 milliliter beaker or cylinder B. You can now calculate the diameter ratio and the packing efficiency for our 50 milliliter beaker. Okay, students, for part two of this experiment, you can use Excel to plot the percent packing efficiency versus the size ratio. That concludes the mole activity experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.